This question is coming from ZAT 2008 paper. And I've modified this question a little bit because this question was incorrectly placed on the paper. Instead of 144, they had given 132, which is not a possible sum. But let's have a look at this particular question. It talks about the series of number, which is minus 6, minus 12, 18, 24, minus 30, minus 36, 42, so on and so forth. Whenever you get questions based on series and sequence, I would want you to write a few terms on your own in that sequence so that it tells you what is the pattern that the question is following. Now, one thing is very clear that it is looking at the multiples of 6. But it has got a minus element also in it, right? So let me write the first number as minus 6, easy to write. Then again, minus 12, which is 2 times. I understand that there are two negative numbers. Then I look at the third term, which is 18, which is a positive term. Then I look at 24. Then I look at 30, which turns out to be negative. So you have got two, two negative and two positive. Does it follow the same trend? Yes, it gives me a two negative values, which is minus 30 and minus 36 after this. Then it starts becoming positive once again. So it becomes 42 and then of course it will be 48 followed by the next term which will be what minus 54 and a minus 60 followed by a plus 66 right. So this will be the series that it will follow. So that's one thing which is very very clear to me. Now let me look at the first set of numbers after which a kind of repetition happens. For example this is minus minus and then two positive numbers. That means after this, the cycle is repeating again. So I'm taking my cycle over here of these four numbers. Now understand this thing that when you are looking at cycle of four numbers, how am I going to decide that it has to be always four numbers? No, it has, it need not to be always four numbers. It has to be looked at from a perspective of the question, what cycle are we choosing, right? So it is not necessary that it has to be four or it has to be five or it has to be 10, depends upon the question. Nonetheless, let's look at the first cycle. You are looking at minus 6 plus of minus 12 plus of minus 12. Then you are adding another number which is 18, which is positive 18 in the series itself. And then you have a positive 24. We realize that a 6 is common in this series. So let me take 6 common. Then what are we left with? We are left with a minus 1 plus minus 2. So this is going to be a minus value over here. So it is going to be a minus 2 then a plus 3, then a plus 4. If you observe this very carefully, 4 plus 3 is 7, and then a minus 3 is over here. So this turns out to be 6 into 4. That's the series that I'm getting for the first four numbers, sum that I'm getting for the first four numbers. Let me look at the next number, next set of numbers, which is minus 30, plus of minus 36, plus of 42, plus of 48, right? Now again, I'm taking the next four set of numbers over here. And if I take the next four set of numbers, I can again take a six common. And what am I going to get? I'm going to get a minus five, a minus six, a plus seven and a plus eight. Eight plus seven will give me 15 and six plus five will give me 11. So minus 11 plus 15 will give me again four. And it is turning out to be again the same way, which is six into four, like that of the previous set of numbers, right? Now, going forward, let me just do it one more time to see if this pattern is really following up or not. So I have a minus 54 with me plus of minus 60 plus of 66 and plus of 72. If I follow this, then I'm going to take a six common over here and this is going to be minus nine minus 10 plus 11 and plus 12. Again, 11 plus 12 will be 23, 10 and nine will give me minus 19. Minus 19 plus 23 will again give me 6 into 4. So I realize every set of 4, 4 numbers that I'm taking, it is going to give me 24 as the sum of these numbers. I want the sum to be equals to 144. So 24 times the number of series that I'm able to make over here, the number of combinations of consecutive 4 numbers in the series that I can make is what I'm going to multiply 24 with. So 24 multiplied by a number A should turn out to be equals to 144 if it is turning out to be a complete series of numbers. If not, then we'll have to iterate a bit. But 144, I can see is a multiple of 24. If I look at this, it is going to cancel from a 12. So you'll get a 12 divided by two and that is going to give me six. Six complete set of series of numbers is what we are getting over here, right? Six complete sets. Now each set has got how many numbers? Four numbers. So six complete sets will have how many numbers? 24 numbers. And the answer to this question should be option E, 24.